Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will give you an introduction into the Turtle Graphics module. What the Turtle Graphics module is, it's a way of drawing shapes and creating simulations and or animations using Python. What I'll be doing is firstly setting up the um, code with you and then I'll be showing you all the basic functions of the Turtle Graphics module so that you can um, have a really great understanding of what this module can do for you. First things first, you may need to install the Turtle Graphics module into your Python environment using the pip install command. And then once you've done that, you'll need to import Turtle using the import command. And I've here given it an alias as T. So wherever I've put T here, I've referenced the Turtle Graphics module. In order to set it up, um, you type in t.turtle and what that does is that creates a pen um, so that you can do your drawings. And then what you need to do next is you need to create um, the end of your code so that the Turtle Graphics knows when you're done and you type in t.done. So now you've got the start and end and all your code should go in between. When we run that, notice that we will have a completely white, uh, white uh, screen with a arrow in the middle. What you may need to do is run it and then run the code again like you just saw. And then what I'll do is that I'll um, run the code for you once the window has been opened. Notice that this arrow is right in the middle of the screen. And what that does is that represents the point of origin. So that is point zero, zero. Everything we draw, everything, every line that we draw, um, everything we do will come from that point unless you um, use the pen up command, which will, and then move your turtle or pen to a different place on the screen. So let's just get rid of that. So notice that we had a white background. What happens if we wanted to change the background? We type in pencil, we call our pencil dot screen dot bg color. And then we can say, let's say you will have it blue because we want it blue this time. Um, we have words, so blue, red, green, and so on and so forth. Or you can have it in hex, or you can have it as an RGB value. It will understand all three. So if we run that again, notice the white screen, but then if we run this code again, it appears in blue. So now we've got our blue background. But let's say we wanted our pencil to be in a different color. We want it to stand out a bit more. We can just change that by using the pencil.color command. Type in pencil.color and then type in the name of the color. So let's say we want it in white. And then we just simply run that and then run it again and we have it in white. But that is our pencil in white. The line it will draw will still be in black. So you want that to stand out just as much as the pencil. And we do that by typing in pencil.penColor.white. And what they do is that will create our white lines for us. So what we have at the moment is we have a blue background with a white pencil producing a white color, white colored lines. The next thing to do is to draw our lines. So let's just start with a very simple line going to the right um, by um, 90 pixels. So if we do that, we type in uh, and we run it again. And we see we have our line going to the right by 90. Notice that um, our arrow starts off facing to the right. So if you wanted to make it um, start off and go up, you just type in uh, pencil dot left. And now whatever you put in here between 0 and 360 will um, make it turn on the spot by that angle. So let's say you wanted to go up rather than to the right. Type in pencil left 90 and then forward 90 and we can rerun that and it will go up by 90 degrees. 
by it turned left by 90 degrees and it went up by 90. So let's say now we want to change our line thickness. So that uh, line was very thin on the screen and you couldn't really see it. So let's ch you do that by typing in pencil dot pen size and 10 and then we can move it f um, forward 180, so twice the length we did last time. And then um, we can run it. And notice the line is really, it's much thicker and more noticeable. So next thing we're gonna do is change our size of our pen. And we do that by using the shape size command. And we type in pencil.shape size. And what we do now is we specify the width, the length, and the thickness of the outline. So we type in 3.33, keep it very simple, and we run it. Notice that now our pencil has gone much bigger. But let's say we don't want an arrow, we want a different shape. Uh, we want to have, uh, let's say we want to have a shape of a turtle. So what this does is, it, what we do is we will change our arrow to be a turtle shape. And we do that by typing in pencil.shape and then type it in the bracket. In, in, within quotation marks, we type in turtle. Now, the turtle graphics module has six inbuilt shapes. These are arrow, turtle, circle, square, triangle, and classic. So if we use one of these um, inbuilt shapes called turtle and we run it, we will have a shape of a turtle instead of the arrow we had last time. So now we have a white turtle on a blue background. So now let's go on to um, drawing some lines. So let's say we wanted to draw a square. The first thing we'll do is we will uh, type in forwards 90 and then we'll turn it on its spot by 90 degrees to the left and then we'll go forward by 90 turn its spot on its spot by 90 degrees and then go forward and so on until we create a perfect square and then let's run that and we'll see what happens see here we're drawing our square let's uh, keep our turtle shape and let's say now we wanted to only draw two lines in parallel, but we still wanted to go in that square motion. And we do that by typing it, by using the pen up, pen down functions. So what pen up does is it takes a pen up from the canvas and then moves it. So it will not draw the line. If you wanted to draw the line, you would use pen down. When you first start writing code in uh, the uh, Turtle Graphics module, it will automatically start as pen down. So firstly, you need to specify when the pen goes up. So the code we've got here is exactly the same as drawing the square above, except we've got pen up after the first line and pen and pen down after the second line and pen up after the third line. So we should get two lines in parallel. So if we run that again and then run the code, notice here we've got two lines in parallel and the turtle finishes up exactly in the position it started with, facing in the same direction as it started with. If you wanted to hide the turtle, you would type in um, pencil.showturtle and pencil.hideturtle. So if you wanted to hide the turtle, you type in pencil.hideturtle. Here, let me just show you, hide turtle. And then you can move it forward and then you can say have it showed at, shown at the end. So if we run that and then run the code, you can see that it's disappeared here, but it suddenly appeared at the end. So you can have the option having no pen at all being shown. If you wanted to draw a circle, you just type in pencil.circle and then run the code and you'll see a circle being drawn. If you want to have a bigger circle, just change this function here, uh, which is the radius. So you just increase the radius, let's say to 100, and then you can draw the circle again. And the radius now, the circle is bigger because it has a bigger radius. 
if you wanted to clear everything, clear the whole page, clear the background, and clear the shapes that are on the page, type in pencil.clear. If you wanted to uh, reset the turtle to its initial color and its initial shape and size, you would type in pencil.reset. So together, they'll get rid of everything and put it completely back to normal and it's a complete original state. If you wanted to, if you say you started drawing and you're way off from your point of origin and you wanted to get back to where you started, you type in the pencil.home command and I'll take you back to your point of origin. But bear in mind that your pen will be down, your pen, you'll be drawing to your point of origin unless you type in the pen up command before you type in pencil.home. So that was it without the pen up command being shown. So if we do again, but do it again, but type in pencil dot pen up and then run it again. You'll see here now that we're going back to our point of origin without our shape being ruined by a line. Another way of drawing the square is by using a loop command. So instead of having you know, turn, go forward 90, then turn left 90, and then go forwards 90, and then turn left 90, and so on and so forth, until you get your square. You can just type in a loop, say, so for i in range 1 to 5, type in pencil.forward 90 and pencil.left 90, and that will do exactly the same thing and create your square. So it's a quicker and easier way of doing the same thing. Another thing you, you might want to do is have more than one pencil going at a time. So this is where um, it really come, come in handy. So you can do that by typing in the, using the clone function in the turtle graphics module. So if we type in pencil, which is our first pencil, dot clone, and equate that to our name of our second pencil, then we'll have two pencils that are exactly the same and they simply just be a copy of the first one. The second one is just a copy of the first one. So now what we can do is we can have one pencil going off in one way, drawing a shape, and a second pencil going off in another way, drawing another shape. And you can have as many clones as possible. You can have, you know, no, it doesn't have to be two, it can be three, five, ten, a hundred, however many you want. So if we run this now and then run it again, notice you have one pencil going off in one direction, another pencil going off in another direction. So the next thing we want to do is maybe you want to draw a more complex shape. Maybe you want to draw a star. And you simply do that by, um, again, using a for loop and then typing pencil forward 150 and then pencil dot right by 144. So instead of going dot left, we've just gone dot right. And then we run that. Notice that we will have our star being drawn here. So if I show you that to you again, we'll have our star being drawn. And it ends up in its original position. Not all leaves, they don't have to end up in its original position, but um, if you're drawing a shape, then it looks much better. So um, ways of exiting this, you don't have to just click the X button at all all the time in the top corner, you, you can type in pencil.by or Turtle Graphics also has the ability to exit on click. So when you click your mouse after the function has run, you after, or your code has run, then you can just, that will also exit your program. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it um, and got to grips with uh, what the Turtle Graphics module can do for you. Um, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.